Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I'm gonna show you all how to make a beautiful orzo salad. It's gonna be so simple. It does not require a lot of ingredients to listen here. It's gonna taste so good. Here's what you're gonna need to make Jeannie Young style orzo salad. You all never had this before. You better make it so. Okay, everybody, Prince and Polo wants to say hi to YouTube. Say hi, guys. Say good morning. It's morning time at the Young's house. We're going to have a lot of fun in this kitchen. We're going to make some amazing orzo salad. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Prince and Polo just wanted to peek in and say hello. Here, Princey. Princey, look at Mama. Here, baby. Come on. <laughs> look at Mama. Look at him go. They'll do anything for a nice snack. <laughs> and they have their vest on. I told you all I would show them as much as possible. On days that um, they're sleeping, I'm not going to wake them up to put them in a video. But as much as I can, I sure will. And they love being on video as well. Look at Princey. Look at Mummy. Look at Polo. Say bye, guys. Okay, so now that we have the puppies, puppies, the puppies nice and occupied, let me show you the ingredients that you will need. I have some beautiful asparagus that we're going to use. We have two lemons. I have salt and pepper. Olive oil. Let's see if you all can see the olive oil right there. Garlic powder cracked black pepper. We're going to use some gray Poupon Dijon mustard. And I have the orzo pasta. You know, a lot of people think this is rice. And it's not. It's pasta. Okay? But it looks like rice and it has somewhat of a rice texture. This is amazing. If you all never had it, you have to give it a try at least once and let me know what you think. Don't knock anything until you try it. I have some Parmesan grated cheese as well as Miracle Whip. I have feta crumbles and I have beautiful cherry tomatoes that I've washed off and I have some fresh cilantro and I have two bowls here. I have one large bowl and then I have a smaller bowl that we're gonna mix up our sauce in. So the first thing that you wanna do, make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. And I wanna chop off the woodsy end. There's always a woodsy part that doesn't taste the greatest, and that's this part here. If you try to eat that part, it just doesn't taste right. So make sure you cut that part out, okay? I'm tossing that away. All right. Okay, so what I want to do, if you're going to use the asparagus in this dish, I highly suggest that you chop it into small pieces, okay? Small pieces is definitely suggested because our pasta is so small. You would not want to put huge pieces in, okay? And I think this is just the cutest when you cut the asparagus this small, okay? It makes for an amazing taste in this dish. I hope that you all are having a great day today. I hope that you all are having an amazing work week. Friday is almost here. Friday is around the corner. And I love the ends as well. You can still chop them up. They'll feel like they're falling apart, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna use all of that goodness. Okay, I think, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and use all of it. Here's what we're gonna do with this. And it's so simple and easy. Over on the stove, I have a wok, and the wok is filled with water that I've salted, and that's gonna be to cook our orzo pasta. Now, right here, I have a pan with a little bit of olive oil in it. You can see it's just barely coated. We're gonna put our asparagus right into the pan just like so okay and we're going to give it some salt and pepper and the olive oil that's all you're going to need we're going to cook this on a medium high heat until it gets nice and tender but one thing you don't want to do you don't want to overcook this okay because if you overcook it it will tend to get kind of bitter and it will also 
get too mushy. No one wants to eat anything that's mushy, okay? So let's just saute up this a little bit, put a little bit of salt and cracked black pepper on there, just like so. Get this on the stove. Let's make our way over to the stove. Okay, so we have our asparagus with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and cracked black pepper in our pan, medium-high heat. We have our water boiling here that I've salted. Anytime you make any pasta, you make um, rice or potatoes, you always wanna salt your water, okay? You want everything to have flavor. This is the orzo pasta going in, okay? I'm gonna use the whole box, all right? Just like so. Then you wanna give it a nice stir. I'll just use this small fork that I have. And then nine to 11 minutes, this is gonna be perfect. And all you need to do is just drain the water off. Really quick and simple, right? It doesn't get any better than that. Okay, give this a nice stir, just like so, and that's it. You don't even have to worry about it. Come back and check it in 11 minutes. If you're not happy with the texture at 11 minutes, then definite, or, or sorry, at uh, nine minutes, then come back in 11 minutes and check it I'm pretty sure it'll be just perfect and you want it to be al dente and what al dente means is it means chewy to the tooth just as if you know just as if we were making some type of noodle or rice you never want it to be mushy all right so here's our beautiful asparagus I'm just gonna toss them in this olive oil and then they'll start to fry up a little bit but remember don't cook them too long I'll let you know exactly how long I decide to cook those they're still hanging out with me they haven't left me yet normally when I'm doing videos they're right here beside me waiting on something to drop I'm gonna try my best not to drop anything <laughs> but they're just a hoping right so while our orzo pasta and our asparagus start to cook up what I wanna do is start to, and you can use a regular tomato, any other kind of tomato would work, okay? What I like to do is chop, and you can cut it this way, okay? Or you can just slice it right down the middle, okay? But I feel like because I'm using the small, tiny pasta, I wanna cut it into fours to make that tomato a little bit smaller. You know, and some of you might say, well, how come you're just not using a regular tomato, Gina, and chopping that bad boy? Well, because I love the taste that cherry tomatoes give off. It gives off a nice, beautiful, sweet taste, sometimes a little bit different than a larger tomato does, okay? And that's why, like I said, use any kind of tomatoes that you would like to. If there's ever any ingredients that I use and you're not a fan of, then just omit that ingredient so you can make the recipe as well and you can enjoy it, okay? And really, it's that simple, okay? Some of you might say, ooh, Gina, I don't like feta cheese. Don't use it, <laughs> okay? Just use you some Parmesan and you'll be happy, all right? Amazing. Uh, okay, so let's talk about something. I am like, I'm ecstatic. I am so excited. Let me turn this camera around. Okay, everybody, so let's talk about the messages. Okay, 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 okay. So they, I received the message, and I told you all that it said messages will be going away as of the 18th. I don't know what that was all about. And I told you all that messages would be leaving, which is kind of crazy because the 18th has passed, and you all are still able to message me. And I think that's awesome. And I've never been so happy in my life to be wrong. Because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do if you all couldn't message me anymore. I'm so happy. Comments are still available. You all can still comment, and I'm still going to comment back. What great news. Amazing news. I'm so excited about this. So here's what I didn't understand. The part that I didn't understand was I didn't realize that messages and comments are two separate things. Well, evidently they are. And I had a misunderstanding and I'm so thankful that I was wrong. Okay? So that's all I wanted to clarify. So happy we can message each other. You all can message me anytime. Back to the video.
Okay, everyone. But that is, it's awesome news. It's so great to hear. Okay, so I'm going to chop up a few more of these. You don't need too many. And here's the thing. The more, if you want to make your dish more beautiful, feel free to put frozen peas in here. You know, you can put frozen corn in here. You could put a few slices of green or black olive. That will really make this dish pop. And if you wanted to, you can put... Um, what am I thinking? Hard salami. Guys, I am a fan of hard salami. But I just felt like today I just wanted to do veggies. But like I said, definitely try it with the hard salami or pepperoni if you're a fan. What you'll do is you'll go to your local deli. You'll have them slice it a little bit thick for you. And then you can chop it up into cubes. Absolutely you can. Possibilities are endless when you're making a salad like this. Now one thing that I want to highly suggest when you're doing this recipe is you do not want to mix in your orzo pasta while it's hot. Run some cold water over it, okay? Cold water is going to be the trick or just let it set at room temperature so that your pasta can cool down because we don't want to put our pasta mixed in with everything and it's hot because for one, it'll start to melt your feta cheese and it just will, it won't look appealing, okay? I don't think it would taste appealing once it starts to melt your mayonnaise and things like that. So take the time to let that orzo pasta cool down for sure. Let's matter of fact, let's make our way over to the stove Let's check on the pasta. Let's stir around our beautiful asparagus in the hopes that the asparagus are almost done and then we'll be ready to mix up our amazing pasta. See, after the pasta, the pasta, cooking the pasta and the asparagus is the hardest part of this recipe. So you know this recipe is so simple. Really it is, it's a lot of fun and the whole family loves it. You know, even the kids, some of the kids that are finicky about um, vegetables, they even love this recipe. Trust me when I tell you. Okay, everyone, let's take a peek in at our amazing, and they smell so good. I don't know about you all, but I love the taste of asparagus. And I did the dish the other day with the uh, baked ravioli, the baked pasta, and I had leftover asparagus that was nice and fresh so i figured why not use it you know and like i said if you're not a fan of asparagus put you some use you some corn or peas look at that Ooh just a few more minutes and this will be perfectly done my word i'm so excited and my mouth is watering and my stomach is a rumbler i'm putting a little bit more salt and pepper in with my asparagus. I gave them a taste and I felt like they needed to be seasoned just a little bit more. Here in about two minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take that asparagus off of the heat because it's done. So some of you might say, so how long did you cook it? I cooked it for about eight to eight to 10 minutes. Okay, and it's just perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out now. See that you want it to be nice and vibrant it has just a little bite to it, and it's not mushy. That's the way that it tastes good. Once this gets mushy, it's horrible. <laughs> Don't let it get mushy. My pasta is almost done, and I'm so excited. I'm going to try to get this recipe done before my steak and cheese sandwich gets here. My husband asked me, he said, honey, do you want anything brought home? And I said, um, no, not really. He said, do you want a steak and cheese sandwich? I said, yes, I do. <laughs> so I'm so excited. That's what we're having today at the Young's house for lunch. And I cannot wait. And I think I'm going to make homemade pizzas for dinner. And I just might video it. You all let me know. Let me know in the comment section below if you all want to see Gina Young style pizzas. They still haven't left me. They're hanging around, guys. <laughs> but they have, when they have their vest on, they have their vest on because they, they're going to go outside. They're going to take a nice walk 
we're not going to walk too far, just to walk up the sidewalk and back maybe one or two times. And then if I notice they feel a little tired, I just pick them up and we, and we walk home that way. <laughs> okay, everyone, so our orzo pasta is done. Our orzo pasta has been cooled down with cold water. Let's put our beautiful, and see the pop, the beautiful pop that it's given it already. Put your tomatoes in just like so. All right, let's put those asparagus in. And you put as much of the ingredients in as you would like. You know, you want a whole bag of frozen corn in there, put a whole bag in, okay? It's really up to your discretion how much of everything you'd like to have. Okay, we are gonna put some salt and pepper. All right, that's a lot of pasta. You wanna make sure you season it. Okay, now let's just set that aside for the time being. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make this really quick and simple sauce. Really quick and simple. It's really bright and it's tasty and it's going to be made with the lemon and the olive oil. Let me show you how easy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead, cut down into your lemon. This is going to give it a nice, beautiful, fresh pop. All right, we're gonna squeeze that lemon and I'm gonna use the palm of my hand to catch any seeds, okay? Just like so, and this bad boy is juicy. It's giving me a lot of juice and that's what you want because you want that flavor from that lemon, all right? If any seeds fall in, hey, you can pick them out and really it's that simple, okay? So then we're gonna do the other lemons and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I used one and a half lemons. My lemon was so juicy. So all I needed was the juice of one and a half. And this here, maybe I'll use it for a garnish, okay? Now what you're gonna wanna do is we're going to put, oh my goodness, we're gonna put some gray poupon in and I'm gonna put a tablespoon, okay? I can kinda eyeball what a tablespoon looks like, okay? I think I'll use a little bit more. Amazing, okay? You wanna just get that well combined with your lemon juice, okay? Now some of you might say, how come you're not gonna use fresh garlic? In this dish, I don't wanna bite down into a fresh piece of garlic. So I'm gonna use garlic powder, okay? And that's just fine, all right? We're gonna put some cracked black pepper in, just like so. Put a nice amount in there. You want to be able to taste it. That black pepper is going to give you antioxidants as well, which is amazing. Just like so. Okay, and then we're going to put some Miracle Whip. You can use mayonnaise or you can use Miracle Whip. The reason why I'm going to use Miracle Whip today is because I feel like this dish can use a little bit of sweetness. And you all know that Miracle Whip is a little bit sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the Miracle Whip, okay? And we're just gonna whisk everything in. And then we're gonna drizzle olive oil in. And we're gonna get that well incorporated. This makes for an amazing sauce. So easy, and I love putting the Grey Poupon mustard and the Miracle Whip in there. Try it. Oh yeah. I wanna give this a quick taste to see if I'm happy with all the flavors before I put my olive oil in. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So good, it tastes so fresh. My goodness. I'm left-handed, I don't know what hand to grab. <laughs> Okay, so I'll whisk with my right hand. We're gonna drizzle some nice, fresh, beautiful olive oil in there. How much? Just put you some in. Get you some in there until your sauce comes somewhat thinned out. Okay, y'all know how to do that. Just like this. Mmm. If you wanted to put a little bit more sugar in, you can, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna give it another taste. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Let me put a little bit more olive oil because I need that sauce thinned out. Amazing. Oh 
yeah. Let's go ahead, mix this into our bowl. Put it all in there, absolutely. Okay, so I've grabbed my rubber spatula so I can get all this beautiful, fresh goodness down into that orzo pasta salad. Mmm. You know, first thing my son said when he came in, he said, is that rice? <laughs> it does remind you of rice, and it does somewhat kind of taste like rice. But like I said, it's pasta. All right, so there's that. And we'll check this later to see if about the salt, okay? I want to put a little bit more cracked black pepper in. We're going to do a few spritz of a few pieces of cilantro, but not too much because I don't want to overwhelm my dish with cilantro, okay? Watch this. Just a few pieces will do you. Cilantro goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you this, all right? Now, some of you might like to use gorgonzola blue cheese. If you want to, that would be fine. Look at this. Mix it on in, and you have an amazing orzo salad. Perfect for a picnic. Yes, perfect for a picnic. Perfect for dinner. Put you some fried chicken on the side of this. Bake you some nice white fish. What an amazing, quick and simple, easy dish. Put you some hard salami and peas and corn in there if you'd like. Now, here's what we're going to do. You can shave some Parmesan on, or you can use the grated. <clears throat> I choose to use the grated, and then we're gonna put feta crumbles. Put as much as you want, or as less as you want, okay? You wanna be able to taste that feta going all throughout, okay? If you get big chunks, just take it and uncrumble it, you know, just like so, okay? I think that'll do me. Let's get this nice and mixed up. We're gonna give this a try, and I'm gonna let y'all know what this tastes like. My cheese steak is here, and I cannot wait to bite down into it. Oh, look at this. It's so beautiful. It's so fresh. It's gonna be so tasty. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. You all never had this before. You have to make you some. I'm gonna taste it right now. But not before we say a nice prayer over our beautiful orzo salad. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Lord, I thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding, and your blessings. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. I pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper, and we bind the devil away from every area of our life. Devil, you have no authority in the young family. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all of my viewers and subscribers, and I pray that you bless Bless over them and their life and their families in Jesus' name. I pray that no weapons formed against my viewers and subscribers shall prosper in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for the roof over our head, the food and the love that you give us daily. Amen. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time, every time Gina Young uploads. Tell your family and friends. Tell everybody you know about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's dig in. Amen. If I already didn't say amen, taste this. Let's see. Let's come up a little bit with the camera. Taste this, and you have to let me know what you think. My goodness, I wish my camera would focus a little more. Oh, I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to grab another fork. Oh, it's so good. Mmm-hmm. Amazing. So easy. Nice and fresh. Like I said, bake you a piece of fish. I want some of those asparagus. Bake you a piece of fish with this. Your family will love you for it. Look at that. Oh, mmm, 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 and as always, God bless you all, thank you all for watching, have a good night, good night, guys, I tried my best to hurry up with this video,
because I cannot wait to dive down into my steak and cheese sandwich. Come to me, steak and cheese. Oh, this is the best steak and cheese in town. Do you hear me? It's so good. I cannot wait to dive in. Look at that. Oh, take a bite, guys. Take a bite. Have some lunch. Mmm. 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 Mmm.